The Development Trust was set up in 2004. Some of the other islands and communities had already had Development Trusts, uh, which seemed to be a good thing for their communities. I funded a Community Development Officer and an Administration Officer for the Sandy Development Trust. Part of their roles was to take forward the shared ownership project um, with Scottish and Southern Energy. We have with Scottish and Southern a co-venturing agreement and uh, basically rather than the, the trust owning one of the wind farms, which is what's happened in other communities, we have an agreement that we have a 10% share of the whole wind farm and uh, it works very well because Scottish and Southern did all the, the building work. They found the money for doing it. Our loan is with them rather than with banks. Uh, we're becoming to rely more and more on the, the income from the wind farm, at least providing match funding. We would always go out and see what other grant funding is available, but it's, it's a safety net um, and has helped other projects. For instance, the, the Heritage Centre, which was the old community centre that had lain empty for 20 or more years. And without the, the income from the wind farm, uh, we would have had to take bank loans. It's very important. Uh, it serves several functions. It's very good for tourists. For a start, everyone visiting, we've got the Heritage Centre here and in the field next to it, we have a reconstructed Bronze Age burnt mound and a croft house that's been furnished as if it would have been approximately 100 years ago, all in the same area here in a small space, which is really good for tourists and also for the local population as well. Well, one of the most important things is staff wages. If you're going to have uh, things running properly, you do actually need staff with abilities and talents. I am employed by Sandy Development Trust uh, as the ranger. Um, I am part funded by Scottish Natural Heritage and the Spurness Wind Farm Fund as well, but very supportive of the role um, and really keen to see it develop as much as possible. The building we're sitting in at the moment would have been, I think, the first major project. It, uh, this building was two former teachers' houses and uh, we had a very energetic youth worker on the island who wanted to have a, a youth drop-in centre. We have the luxury of not having to charge huge rents for people hiring this place. We can charge what the community are able to pay and therefore it gets used better. But that's, that's thanks to the, the money that we have coming in from the wind farm.